So it's beer review time and it's another one from beersofeurope.co.uk and we've got another winter themed one, Christmas themed, however you want to go. It's ho ho I'm not I'm not gonna say if I can there you go. Hohen Hammer Winter Fest beer. Hopefully you can see that through the bright light on there. Right, let's crack this open. Oh, haven't really got the best glass for this, but it's the one that was to hand, so we're gonna dash some in there. It's kind of, oh, you get it not too bad on it, a little bit light at this end, kind of a Fairly dark amber colour, thick, creamy white head. Pretty much kind of a little bit of sweetness on there, just kind of not a lot going on. Let's go for a taste. Hmm, quite sweet. It's uh. Almost really sweet, actually. The sweetness really comes out on me. It's 5.8%. Um, can't get a whole lot from this because obviously it's all in German. Rygon High Spark, 1516. Purity Law, usual. Hops. It doesn't really say a lot. Water, beer, hops. No, there's not a lot to glean from that at all, but it's kind of... It's okay, but it's got that that overriding sweetness on the back that kind of makes it... almost... If I was given that in a glass and it wasn't in the German bottle, I kind of liken it to um, a little bit like the holiday beer, something like... Um, I don't want to say the exact brand, it's probably unfair to say it on the thing. Um, but yeah, the kind of some of the holiday beers you get where they're kind of like the, the, the lagery type beers, but they've kind of got that, that sweetness that still retains there, and they're kind of almost a little bit sickly sweet on the back note that you couldn't drink too many of them. I, I don't think I could certainly drink more than one of these, if I'm honest. Yeah, that kind of, it really gets my tea straight away. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Again, I, I mean, a winter fest beer, I'm guessing, pertains to be kind of like the, I don't know, a Christmassy type beer or a winter festival beer in Germany. But it just kind of, I don't know, it doesn't. It's, I don't know, I suppose you could drink a few of them, 5.8%. But it, yeah, it's got that, it's too much of that sweetness on the back for me, it's just not, it's not a beer you'd have more than one of, That that's for sure, definitely for me, but, you know, if you're into your German beers, and you kind of like that kind of, for me it's very much like a, a holiday lager you'd get in kind of Greece or somewhere like that, you know, that kind of, or, uh, yeah, there's one in Greece that it tastes a little bit like, a little bit, yeah. It's, I don't know, it's really hard to explain, but I'm sure if you've had one of these kind of type of lagers before and you get that kind of, that sweetness on the back note, it just, it almost makes it feel a bit cheaper as well, like it's just not quite, not quite right, I don't know. Yeah, it's not, it's not a beer to kind of savour and enjoy. Maybe it could have done with being a bit colder. Maybe if like you was eating some nice German meats or something like that. It might wash down quite well, but as it stands, I'm not I'm not bowled over. I have to admit, it's not a it's not a, a big one for me. But that has been if it focuses in. No, it doesn't want to. Come on. No, it doesn't focus. So it's Hoffen Hohenfanner Winterfest beer. There we go. Beersofeurope.co.uk.